a lot of times we're usually you know running on ideas we have ideas that we want to materialize or we want to bring to um, reality but the question or the problem or the challenge is that we do not know how how do i create this course how do i start this business how do i ask her out so basically the question is usually how how do i do this how do i start and this is what i am going to be talking about today how to start some tips that can help you start out so it doesn't matter whatever it is that you want to start it could be launching a course writing a book um basically anything that you want to start out you know that oh there's something you've been procrastinating on you really want to do but you're not doing it because your question is oh how do i start so this video is for you Hi, my name is Juliet Visual. I'm a mindset coach. I share content and all things related to mindset, mental health, emotional well-being, emotional wellness to help you upgrade your mind, your life, your business, your career. So if you love content on any of these related things, do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you are notified of my video the next time that I drop one. In today's video, I am talking about how to start. So let's start. <laughs> So, um, like I said, starting could be very, very difficult for most people because you do not know, you have all your ideas put uh, scattered everywhere right, in your head. And they're like, where do I take first? How do I do this? How do I do it? You're usually, you know, clogged with so many questions on, okay, how do I just even start? So here are a few tips that can help you start. Number one, start with the end in mind. So you have a project that you want to start you already have an idea you should um likely have an idea of how you want it to be of course you want it to be successful right so you start with the end in mind you, you put that picture into perspective you put that picture in your mind and you know you start looking ahead looking um at the future and seeing that okay this is you know what i have been able to do this is what i've been able to accomplish so start with the end in mind number two don't be afraid to fail now one reason uh, or one of the reasons that most people do not start is because they are afraid to fail they're like asking themselves questions like am i sure I'm, this is really good is this idea really very good am i, am I is it gonna flop is, won't it flop will i fail will i feel like this this and that so you're basically asking this question will it will it will it is it good this and that you're doubting you know your idea and all that so it's important that you know that it you should not be afraid to fail so when you're about starting something whatever it may be there are likely possibilities that you may fail and that's because you have zero experience in that particular field no matter how much skills you you must have acquired you do not have any experience in that in that line so there are chances that you could fail so do not be afraid to fail eliminate that fear so that you can start right and then number three prioritize consistent action over perfection so most people want every single thing to be perfect before they launch out they want every single thing to be you know sparkling <laughs> perfect and it's good of course we should always create good work we should always do great stuff right but you should not um you know seek perfectionism and then you're not doing anything so it's important that you take steps take consistent actions towards you know doing um achieving becoming better and achieving that goal that you're having right so um prioritize consistent action over perfection number four do not be afraid to seek help so it's your first project you've never done something like that before it is important that you seek for you seek help if you know that okay this person has done that particular thing before and they probably have more experience than i do meet them go to them and tell them oh i need help and about doing the same thing but i do not know how to go about it can you help me nobody died just by asking for help i don't know if anybody died anymore but i think that <laughs> if you're just asking for help if the person can either say oh i'm not going to help you or i can help you right and you know 
nobody died, right? So <laughs> you're not going to die. Yeah, so um, don't be afraid to seek help. And then the, the final one, which is, you know, almost like it, is that, you know, be willing to accept rejection. So for instance, you, you sought for help and someone, you, the person you asked for help is telling you, I can't help you. That's like a rejection. But what most people do is to like oh, box it in and be like, oh, because this person is willing to help me, maybe I'm not supposed to even do this in the first place. They, they just you know, bury that idea, dead it, right? And they don't even do anything anymore about it. But you must be willing to accept rejection. Rejection will come. And you must be willing to accept it in good faith. It's not like it's something that we pray for. It's not like it's something that we wish for. But if you're willing to build something worthwhile, you must be willing to accept rejection. Accept the fact that oh, people will reject my idea, people will reject um, the things that I do. And it's not actually their fault. I'm not supposed to feel bad um, because they did. Accept it and move on. Move on to the next person, move on to the next thing. All right? So these are some of the um, tips that could, help, that could help you get started on anything um, that you actually want to start. So I hope you got value from this. If you did, please do um, leave a thumbs up, that's leave a like, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. And also, do not forget to share this video with your friends and family, people that you care about. And subscribe to this channel so that you are notified of my video the next time that I drop a video. Until next time that I come your way again, I hope these tips have been helpful and I hope that you're going to start implementing them in your life and as you go about starting whatever venture it is that you want to start. And I wish you all the best. Alright, my name is Juliet Israel and it's a bye-bye.